Okay, so uh, we have Mike Picanti on from uh, On The Regiment. He started a fitness blog. Uh, he's in a little bit of a rush right now. He's got to get into a meeting. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get into these questions. So Mike, I appreciate you coming on. First question I have for you is, uh, where were you when you began On The Regiment? So physical location, yeah, yeah. mentally, emotionally. Uh, I know you talked a little bit about your breakup on your site. So if you could just give people an idea of like where you were when you began that, that business venture. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Um, and thank you for having me and sorry for the whole timing thing. Oh, I So in, two, in 2012, so actually <laughs> the break was a solid year before I started the company. Okay. Uh, but I, I was working, I, I went to, I grew up in Minnesota, went to school in Wisconsin, graduated with an accounting master's and then I worked as an accountant for two years at like a big box accounting firm and hated every single day of my internship, my full-time job. Um, and in love, like, I don't really know why. Just something in me felt like this was completely wrong and not what I was supposed to be doing. Um, and uh, I did. Like, I, I dated the same girl all through college yeah. and then, like, after college. So we were together for four years, and that ended poorly. And it's like, like, I didn't really date a lot before her, so it's like, okay, I, I feel like this is going to be a long-term thing, person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Yeah. And when that <laughs> imploded, yeah. for lack of a better word, it, it was, I was like, all right, now I'm working this job I hate. I have this like high rise condo in downtown Minneapolis that I have no interest living in. Like I don't really, I don't want things and I don't like what I'm doing. Yeah. So I need to change this. Yeah. Um, so, so mentally, emotionally, I was, uh, like, like very sad, but also just frustrated and eager to get out of that situation. And it was a time where I used my own personal fitness, um, to like really turn up like that hour and a half in the gym was a time where I could just disconnect from the whole world and like completely be in my head. Like fitness was a practice for me and it was uh, something huge in getting me. Through. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So you can really something to focus on to start moving your life out of that situation. That makes a lot of sense, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that- and so I guess to like, to, to wrap up the question, I, I then quit my job. Um, Knowing that guys and girls run online coaching programs and like create fitness content and write and have people that follow them yeah. and then are literally personal trainers online and help other people. And six months before quitting my job was kind of the first time I really saw that this is like a real thing. Yeah. Like people are paying for this service. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is amazing. And I had been in fitness, like growing up, played hockey through college just okay so that's, that's kind of what of i want to get at then you like, didn't really have like a whole huge yeah. base in any any internet marketing or web design or like you didn't really have a base in any of that <laughs> bro I, <laughs> I literally had less than a ba- a base in in all of that yeah. i yeah i didn't know anything okay okay that's good because that that's really helpful for a lot of people who think it's some like magic way that people start a site. Okay. So then the next one is your initial game plan for the business. So did you have any idea? It sounds like you're just going like fly by wire, but do you have any idea who your customers would be, uh, where you're going to get customers from a big thing for people is like, you know, guest posting, iTunes, um, Facebook ads. Did you have any idea about any of that? No, I didn't. I didn't have like looking back now. And now I'm, I, I train Gary Vaynerchuk. Who's a, a big time marketing guy and and successful businessman. So seeing his, um, like how he interacts with his clients and the way he runs his businesses, it's, it's like very clear to me now that so much is going on at that time. I literally had no idea. I I probably couldn't have told you what internet marketing was like, like I would have told you I was annoyed by the 13 or, um, no, this was, this was 2012. So three, like slightly over three years ago. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I really didn't have a plan. I, I guess the first, so my loose plan was copy the business model that I see other guys doing and um, like mimic that, right? Ooh, I remember and, in one of your posts, and, sorry to interrupt, you said you went and flew to see John no. Romanil. Was that like your number one inspiration or did you have anyone else that was major? Um. He was the like the biggest inspiration for it. Him and like, there were some of the other sites I was reading. JC Dean, JCD Fitness, yeah, okay. um, is the other one that comes to mind during the time. Um, well, I'll, I'll get to the Romanella thing in a second. <laughs> so, post quitting job, four, five, six weeks, very anxious, like things not going well, and 
I was like, I, I just have to start. I have to start writing. I have to start creating content. T to get back to your, did you web design? Like, did you know any of it? I remember having um, a, like a notepad, a small notepad, and designing by hand what I thought the 10 or 15 or 20 pages on the site, like what I thought I wanted them to look like without any idea that, like, all right, get in touch with a company that does web development and like, like that's how that worked. I just wrote it out and I was like, oh, this would be really cool. And um, it was probably three or four months later, I had kind of drawn it up in my head and I was, I was going very slow. Like I wasn't taking action. I was kind of lingering, you could say. Yeah. Um, and I started a, a free WordPress site and just like literally logged on. Where do people blog? Okay, WordPress, signed up for a free site, one of their custom templates and started typing up blog posts, kept it private for probably the, the first two or three months until I had six or seven posts on there. Um, and then April of April of 2013, I launched without really telling anyone, okay. like my family and friends and people kind of asking what my plan was yeah. post quitting the coming. And, and I, I kept it close to the vest. Um, Partly because I, I think that when people tell others their goals, I think, I don't think this, I heard this and agree with it, but it takes, like you derive a little bit of satisfaction from being like, hey, I'm going to do this. And someone's like, you're going to yeah, do that? I've That's awesome. That. No, I think it's and then true, you're man. like, like slightly less motivated to do it. Um, and I was a little bit driven by like the chip on my shoulder, prove people wrong, prove people like this, don't want to go to the job with my tail, my legs. But April... 8th, which is my birthday, April 10th, 2013, somewhere in there, I launched the site, had seven readers, and they were like my best so that, friends. That's not that long, though. You're only, <laughs> no you're one only else. Been, launched two years. That's pretty, that's pretty quick, man. Now I, now I don't want to be wrong with the dates that I'm saying. That's, that's quick, um, though. That's, I mean, even if it's three, that's like, <laughs> that's pretty fast. No, no, it is. It was, uh, yeah, like, like 28 months ago-ish. Yeah. Um, and literally, so with, with 10 or 12 friends or whoever's reading my blog, literally 25 days later, mm -hmm. John Romanello was in the middle of the engineering, the alpha launch his book yeah. and posted on Facebook. I need a good intern must be young, must be willing to the work must be, um, like must like dogs must be local, like you must live in New York City for this job, yeah. et cetera. And I was like, I need this. Like working under this guy would be amazing. Yeah. I'm kind of stuck here. No one's reading my site. I don't have a plan. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and so it was, I wasn't tied down either. So there were logistical components to this. Still single. I was in a month-to-month -month apartment mm -hmm. deal living with one of my friends who I knew would end if I had to leave. So I applied, peppered his assistant with emails. <laughs> Um, she, she wrote me back the next day. She wrote me back at like 1 PM. I remember on a Tuesday and was like, okay, cool. Like, can you interview at blah, 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 Starbucks, the West, West village. And I was like, West village. Like, what is that? And sure. Google it. And it's like yeah. New York city. I was like, I was like, yeah, I'll be there. Like yeah. I'll be there tomorrow. So I, I booked a one way flight, got on the plane that afternoon. So like she got the email at one o'clock. I was on the plane at five o'clock like reading all of his blog posts on my phone, just ready, going yeah. over what I was going to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I interviewed with, um, like, he wasn't actually there, but it was his assistant, Anna, and then his, like, ops guy, basically. And <laughs> yeah, good enough. Later, later that afternoon, yeah, right, later that afternoon, like, we all bonded, we got along. We are like, okay, like, you're in. I was like, oh, sweet, shit. I'm pumped. I hadn't told them that I didn't live in New York City. But, Whatever. Um, you must have been on cloud nine, though, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly where I was living. Uh, so, yeah, that's that was like a, a huge, obviously, break for me. Yeah. So I worked this unpaid internship, mailing out books and doing whatever, um, like, you know, not – not tasks that required a great deal of intelligence, but just grunt work. And then I was working on the support desk for his email for a long time, um, like long time being a few months. After like three months, he's like, all right, I want you on full time. Paid me, set me up. I had like trained clients and friends in the past into fitness, but with a job in the gym. And uh, and yeah, then I, my, my new roots were in NYC. Jeez, and so that's, in a sense, Tori.
first of all. But uh, <laughs> did you know beforehand that you were going to go through with this and make it a career? Or was that kind of the point? You know what I mean? Like, was that the point or was there a point? Did you always know from the beginning you were going to go through with this? Or? There was a point when I decided to quit my accounting job that I knew that I wasn't going to work in, a, a, in an atmosphere where I had to wear business casual and when I had to answer someone and when I had to do all of these other, yeah. like, I, I literally, I, I would have, I said somewhere, which is super pretend and annoying. I was like, I was homeless before I go back. But I actually would have worked a job where I was working for myself, whether it be training or non-fitness stuff, just working for myself for thousand dollars for 12k a year and i would have just lived on the cheap because i was more comfortable doing that than making 60k or whatever 65k as an accountant doing what i was doing so there wasn't ever a all right i'm in fitness is my career yeah there was just not going back to what I'm i am not gonna do that I'm not going yeah, back exactly yeah. okay that makes, that makes <laughs> yeah, but, a lot of right. sense man that's helpful because if other people are considering doing the same thing you know like whether or not it's you know you can be successful or you know you're not happy doing what you're doing, and that answers it. So that's great, man. Um, resources like and I, and I feel like I'm just. Oh, I'm just to go. Let me just real. Quick, I feel I feel that's right. I feel like I'm just talking about myself and like I want I want to add value. One thing that I did kind of naturally that I think a lot of people struggle with is I was very comfortable. Um, like cutting way down on my social life, spending very little money, like shopping at Costco for all of my groceries, not going out, like like living very, very on the cheap because I was like, I still preferred that lifestyle over going out to dinner and like spending more money and having fun with friends, but having a higher potential, like a higher potential for risk of ruin and, and losing all my money. Yeah. Um, so in being okay with, really really restricting costs during that that early grind period i think was huge so what uh be, you know basically people taking account of how okay they're going to be with having that laser focus and kind of shutting their lifestyle down for a while that's what it sounds like <laughs> yeah yeah exactly like like know that know know that that is is worth it for you mm -hmm. and uh i got a couple more we can say we got about seven minutes so um yeah I guess I'm going to skip down a little bit. So the biggest takeaway from your experience so far, so you, you did that, you worked with John Roman Neal, uh, you, you interned, you started up your blog, you've been working on it, now you're having a pretty good amount of success here about 28 months later. What, what, uh, what would you say to someone else that's looking at doing the same thing? Like, what can they avoid following your footsteps? That's a good question. So the same thing being starting... Information related. Their own company yeah. or like... Information related, okay. Um, so something something that I don't do enough now is create content. I should be writing every single day, okay. and I'm not. Um, and creating good stuff. Like, I don't even like the word content that much, but putting out valuable information in a form that, like, is your strength. Mm -hmm. So if you're good on camera or want to get good on camera, do that. If you're a better writer, podcast stuff, mm -hmm. Snapchat, I don't care, wherever the attention is of the consumer, like give, adding value for them as often as possible is, is just going to be huge. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that's, that's a downfall of mine right now. Yeah. I feel like that others can capitalize on yeah i mean i've heard a lot of people say like in the business versus on the business so maybe I don't, it sounds like to me like you're almost saying you got so focused on uh the support stuff for the business that you want to focus more on like the content and the heart of it i guess yeah and and i wouldn't even say that as much as um like when you're creating content for most people you're, you're putting work out and you know your work is being judged and it's an art in a sense and there was there like is right now uh, still the logical hang up about is my next video going to be as is this next uh, blog post going to drive this much traffic like that other one that spiked huge and like this one that gets all this SEO like can I can beat my previous self and that's just such a like I, I'm trying to talk myself to this mentality right because it's so negative and counterproductive you know, going forward and putting in the work knowing that 
not everything you do is going to be better than the previous thing, but still doing it, that's what's going to lead to growth. Okay. That's a, <laughs> that's a good takeaway. I don't think I'm going to top that. So uh, I want to just ask uh, two quick questions before we get off because I know you got to get to that meeting. The first one being, yeah. do you think you would have made it this far had you not landed that internship? Call it serendipity or luck or just you're working hard to get the internship. Had you not had it, what do you think? You think you would have made it right here? Not saying you would have made it, but right here, or what do you think? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's it. No, probably not. Okay. It, I actually recently thought about this. I don't know why, because I hadn't thought about this in the last two years. Yeah. But um, I thought about what I would have done, and I really don't know. Like, I, I you gotta give the listeners something. What should so they do if much? they don't get the John Romanillo <laughs> internship? Give them something. Um, what would I, I? I I was. So I was living in Chicago. I I was writing, and I was writing very frequently. Um, so it sounds like you were, I got one. It sounds like you were prepping all the skills that would be necessary if the opportunity came along. It sounds like you were ready for when the opportunity did come. So I think that's what it helps. I was ready. Yeah. Thank be you. Be ready. Jim so be like Mike. And I can't stream. Be ready. Um, the last one I have for you is uh, what are your offerings right now in terms of courses, products, packages? Uh, what can people you to to get on your plan so i and for people who want advice from me like how to put those together i'm just ever like I'm even a good businessman or internet marketer i so i literally only offer online coaching okay. um and and i am taking on clients but like i do one-on-one -on -one coaching which is primarily email based with people all over the world i also have Gary, who's my one in-person client who I travel around with and work him out every day. Okay. So right now your biggest offering is the online coaching and you're, you're taking clients, you're open for business basically. Yep, yep, okay. absolutely. And is there any other place people can find you besides ontheregimen.com or is there anywhere else they should look for you? Um, Instagram for the, for the occasional shirtless selfies, <laughs> at Mike Vacanti. Okay. <laughs> Instagram, at if, like if that's your thing, and then uh, and then on the regimen is where I guess you'll send most of the people. But uh, uh, yes, yeah. so we got the the website is like the the valuable inference. The Instagram is just my ego like, <laughs> attention in a little bit. Yeah, you got to do it, especially with the fitness based business. Man. But uh, I really appreciate you taking the time. Hopefully, I can get you on and get a more detailed story. I feel like the story could have gone on for like an hour or two, but uh. I appreciate the time, and you guys can look forward to uh, everything we know so far.com slash Mike Picanti. So take care, Mike.